welcome to finbl classes in this session we'll be working on the very basics of excel so before uh, getting into that we have to open the excel you can go to the start okay and in the start you can scroll and you find there is a excel over here you can directly click the excel and you can open the excel or you want to open it in a shortcut way you can uh, have a, in, the, in the keyboard you have a command called windows right w i n or there is a window dark window which is shown in your keyboard below the uh, space bar left with the left of your space bar i press uh, windows plus r win plus r you have a dialog box open called run dialog box in that you type excel and start, press ok so when we press ok automatically the uh, software get opens right so in this uh, i'm using excel uh, 365 you can use any version of excel excel 2013 excel 2010 or advanced version of excel also but the functions remains the same so i'll be opening the blank workbook over here now this is your uh, when you open the uh, excel you find the uh, whole lot of view just coming up over here so when we talk about the excel software uh, there is a uh, term called uh, among the program programmer we call it as a concept called oops or oop right so oop is nothing but it's like oop we call it as object oriented object oriented programming object oriented programming so nothing new in this uh, object is nothing but object you have your pen right suppose you are having a pen so when pen is having a similar characteristics you have some uh, characteristic of the pen maybe a color of your pen maybe black or color of your pen maybe blue or the uh, the mold is plastic uh, how far uh, uh, it is uh, worthwhile how, how worth it will be working in the similar way uh, the excel is also an object okay we call it as excel object so entire uh, program is an object right so object in similar term we can say it's a software element okay where a programmer has to manipulate so assume that we are the programmer and we have to manipulate the object over here so we are uh, what what is the manipulation we are working so we'll be doing some arithmetical operations in the excel right so uh, in the excel objects uh, you have this familiar with the excel objects if i say the entire workbook is an object right so this is the entire workbook this entire workbook is your object so within this object you have the sheets so the mouse i am hovering over here it's a sheet right like in your notebook you have various pages right where uh, the similar way uh, in the workbook in the excel workbook you have various sheets right so below here you find that this is worksheet one right similar way in uh, right side uh, that is a plus icon if i press that it will open a new sheet in similar way next page in the notebook you have next page you can go to next page in similar way if i once again press new sheet uh, it starts coming up right so this is your worksheet one worksheet two worksheet three worksheet four worksheet five so within your workbook you have uh, five sheets is been opened in similar way in your notebook you find the uh, pages okay one first page second page third page similar way okay so each worksheet is an object each worksheet is an object so within an object there is one more object called uh, worksheet so it's entire uh, excel is your workbook within the workbook you have your worksheets so within worksheet within worksheet you have the cells over here i if i scroll uh, suppose i drag this cursor from here to here by clicking the uh, mouse you find that this is a range so this is a range within the worksheet range in i call it as range in a worksheet in similar way you can go for the buttons over here suppose i click here it's a button just have clicked so this button that i clicked is uh, is within the worksheet right so then you have various uh, tools over here so in sim in, in summarize i can say that object is your excel software Okay, excel workbook so within the workbook you have the worksheets these are your uh, worksheets so within the worksheets you have the range right so 
next thing that I have to uh, refer you is that uh, these are your cells, right? <coughs> so cell is a combination of your column and the row. Okay, it's a combination of your combination of your uh, column and row. If I uh, place my cursor over here and click the mouse over here, so this cell has its own name, right? So the name is shown in the name box, so which is uh, here, right? So in the above part, above part you have the name box. It shows a name box. So what is the name of the cell? It shows D8. So D8 is nothing but D is the column and 8 is the row okay d column and 8th row so this is your column right and this is your row so this is your column and this is your row so this is the name of your cell so you can automatically modify the name of the cell if uh, you can customize the name of the cell if you are dealing with the multiple worksheets so that you have to be a little bit familiar with Right. So uh, in most of the uh, situations, while uh, we'll be uh, calculating the ratio analysis and all at that time, definitely we have to customize the cell because uh, at those time you can't able to remember the same because we have to interlink the sheets. So we have to interlink the one sheet to another sheet for uh, dragging out the uh, values of your uh, statements. Right. So next part, uh, you have to little bit familiar with this, nothing but your uh, user interface of your Excel. So when you talk about user interface, so user interface is nothing but we are the end user. Okay, we are commun communicating with the computer program. So that is called user interface, user interface. So we are the end user who is communicating with the computer program called Excel. So in the Excel, you have a various commands available over here. So this is your ribbon. So in the above part, this is your ribbon, right? So in the ribbon, you have various bands of tools over here, right? So the number of uh, tabs. So these are your home tab, right? Then you have the insert tab. Then you have the page law page layout. Then you have formulas, data, review, view and help. So these are your tabs. So within the tab, you have tools. So these are your tools. These tools has been grouped into a particular category. So you have the clipboard as a group within this you have uh, four tools. Okay. One is paste, cut, copy, format, painter. These are your tools. The similar way in the group of font, you have the various tools. Okay. Bold, italic, underline. Okay. Then, uh, filling your color, <clears throat> then <clears throat> changing your font of your color. These are your tools. Similar way you have the alignment within the alignment group. Uh, you have the various tool that is a uh, center align. Okay. Justify. In similar way, go to the number. Uh, this one you have the various tools: percentage, comma, uh, increasing in the decrease, increasing the decimal point, and uh, decreasing the decimal point. In a similar way, when we get into the style, you have the condition formatting, format as table, cell styles, and in the cells, uh, suppose you want to insert a cell, delete a cell, and format a cell. In similar way, in the editing, you have the uh, various tools: auto sum, fill, clear. Uh, sort and filter and find and select so then you have the analysis part and this is where you will be doing your data analysis right in the similar way in the various tabs in the insert tab the uh, tools will differ so in this you have the tables you have pivot table in the illustrations you have the pictures just have an overview of the uh, excel software first you get familiar with the tabs the tools first then it becomes easy for you to do that okay and then you have the charts section uh, you have the charts. Uh, if you want to do the pie charts, suppose you want the line graph to be drawn, uh, you want to do the uh, bar, right? Bar diagram. In similar way, you can go for the combo, right? Combination of your bar and line chart. So these are the thing that we mostly use for our analysis part uh, for to prepare a dashboard in Excel. Then you have one more tab page layout within the page layout. We have the themes. Okay. Color part page setup. These are your various tools. These are your tabs tabs within the tabs. You have various tools over here in the similar way formulas. So these are the formulas that we you normally use function formulas. Okay. 
financial function formulas then logical function formulas then you have text based uh, functions then you have date and time functions and you have uh, lookup and reference functions then you we uh, get into math and trigonometry so we'll not be getting into mostly on math and because we'll be mostly uh, looking around the uh, date time function text function logical and financial functions if you want to do you can go for more functions in similar way we can also do a customization of our own function also it's not like that we have to be just uh, get limited with what the excel provides us we can also customize customize our own functions also with the help of the uh, vba macros and next we have the so name defining a name so this can be done right then uh, this is nothing but a uh, formula auditing uh, group in this within this we have the various tools uh, tracing the dependence this will be working when we get into the uh, financial modeling part at that time i'll be uh, helping out what what is the purpose of this one then you have within the data you have the uh get and transform data then you have the queries and connections so these are the uh database related part okay from where you can able to import your data the format of maybe csv format or from the web or from the table or range so these this features may not be uh, available in the uh, basic version of excel but uh, i'm using microsoft 365 so these are the thing they are providing it okay so uh then you have the various data tools and we will be doing some water funnels the water funnels we have to see the scenario manager goal seek data table these are very important for our purposes similar way uh, we have to do the grouping part and ungrouping and subtotaling uh, within the uh, groups the group of making the cell to be group i'll be showing you the overall of this one then you have the review tab within the review tab you have the proofing so okay spell check can be done then thesaurus, thesaurus is nothing but similar to your dictionary right then workbook starter six this we will be doing right so then uh, you have the product version is very very important because uh, whenever we create a financial model ensure that the client should not know uh, uh, what has been there so you have to protect some uh, part of your sheet right so sheet similar way you can protect your entire workbook by uh, putting some passwords right where uh, another person can able to access in behalf of your absence so this is very important then this they have put the uh, signature hide all of ink your document this will be getting into later because this is not required but these are very important for protecting your uh, document then you have the view tab within the view tab you have various uh, toolbars so normal this is your normal view then if i click the page break uh, page break view this is your page break view so this will be mostly helpful for taking printouts right so while printout we have to do some formatting then we have the page layout format then you have the custom view so as per the requirement we can do a custom view so directly go to the normal view this is your normal view so automatically we find that there is a, a line which is coming over here right so this is will be helping out about the the printout you will be so page one page two page three right so next thing is that uh, you have to be a little bit uh, familiar with the uh, mouse keys okay so mouse what i'm hovering over here next thing is that you can press in the key keyboard you have a function called alt right so alt key you press alt key so when you press an alt key you find that uh, automatically a rectangle box a square box opens over here okay automatically it shows the uh, first letter Okay, this is shortcuts, right? So file, you can press F1 to open file, Alt F, the file will be there. Then Alt H, Alt N, Alt P, Alt M, Alt A, right? So when you do that, it will work out. Similarly, I press escape and it just goes off. Suppose I press Alt, Alt H, okay? So when it press Alt H, the home tab is being activated within the home tab you have the various tools shortcut keys has been shown to you so in this once again you have to press the uh, shortcut keys which is required for you suppose you require copy you can press c so if i uh, need the a shortcut for to copy you have to press alt h c suppose i uh, want to copy the oops right so what i do is that alt h c if i press that 
so automatically it will get copied the op will get co copied right so here you can press alt s so you can do the paste or control v you can do that it will come now these are the functions that we will be working out basic functions that we'll be working out next thing is that that we'll be getting is nothing but the backstage view of the excel so when you type the uh here the in the in the above ribbon in the above ribbon uh you find the file so one more thing is that here you find that below here uh this is your tool this is your toolbar so i think but your uh horizontal uh toolbar where you can able to uh, scroll the same a similar way you have the toolbar your uh, vertical toolbar you can scroll over here right then uh, here you find that uh, it shows in ready mode so when you type here something else so say suppose i type jump automatically you find that it it converted into enter so it means that excel shows you that you are doing something you are doing some operations within the sheets right right now uh, when you want to see the backstage view of the excel you just type the file so this is the uh, backstage view of your uh, excel so what is this backstage view it it performs the document document related activities so what is this document related activities similar way right uh, opening a new workbook or opening an existing workbook right this information saving the uh, workbook or save as save save as you're saving the uh, this workbook and save as will uh, make a copy of the uh, what we can make a copy of the workbook in another name right then print share export you can export it in pdf format or any uh, other fo format you require then publish close publish you can pu publish this in your web website if you're having your uh, website you can publish directly into that you have the accounts feedbacks and options so here last thing we have one part called options so when you click option a new uh, excel options dialog box opens so in this we have to do some settings mostly uh, in this we have just uh, have an overview of this one in this you can do the uh, formula okay formulas where uh, suppose you want to do some iterations and also suppose you want to do some uh, functions right so it, at the time it will be useful for us then uh, it's regarding data setting your data part okay proofing then you have the save settings to be done for a save then suppose you need the language to be preferred that can be set mostly language will be in only english for us so accessibility so accessibility will be helping for those who are uh, find it difficult because it, it is uh, for the user users uh, who are very difficult to find the words okay for them uh, they can increase the uh, font size and all then you have the advanced custom ribbon so you can uh, customize your ribbon part then you have the quick access toolbar then add-ins so add-ins so automatic says it provides uh, here in the add-ins you have the analysis part so we'll be using the analysis tool part tool pack and the analysis tool pack for vba so these are the two things that we'll be using for uh, doing a data analysis in the excel so these are the uh, various tool packs which is available in add-ins so here it shows a description that uh, provides data analysis tools for statistical and engineering analysis so these are the basic things will be so ensure that you will be very careful uh, not to fiddle with this uh, controls because uh, it will uh, really change the settings of your workbook so it, you have to be very careful not to fiddle with the control part controls over here so it will be more familiar so before uh, getting into the uh, control you have to be a little bit careful not to fiddle with these controls right then i put this as cancel so this part uh, one more thing that i would show is that dialog box so here in the home tab key below that you have a various a uh, down arrow key over here right so if i press the down arrow key right it shows a dialog box it shows you a dialog box so in this dialog box uh, you can directly uh, change the number number currency accounting uh, date 
time percentage fraction scientific text special custom right similar way you can do the alignment part you can change the font then the border the fill to be done fill uh whether the cell to be a uh, fill in a, a which color okay then protection of the cells can be done okay so this is very a uh, short part right so this in this so in this uh thing you can see the dialog box over here in this dialog box you have uh, two options okay and cancel so this type of dialog box normally having only the uh, okay button so these are your buttons right so button is nothing but object right it's two buttons you have okay and cancel button so okay button is nothing uh, okay button will uh, give you yes customize i can do the customization of this one we'll be dating getting into this later right so this is this type of dialog box we call it as model model dialog box then one more thing we have the modeless dialog box if i press uh, say control f find key right so press control f you find a one more uh, dialog box which opens is nothing but here you don't find uh, any uh, option of okay and cancel this type of dialog box that we call it as a uh, modeless dialog box so you find only one option called close okay so this part is a little bit familiar to you next thing is that uh, we have to we can uh, customize the user interface we can customize the user interface in the above uh, thing you have the down over here customize uh, quick access toolbar i click that you'll find that uh, in the toolbar i just just activated only the save if you find difficult to uh, hover your mouse and uh, go into tab and uh, clicking the tool it is better that you put the quick access toolbar uh, where you can put the tools in the uh, above ribbon right you can put the various tools so in this you have this one is save okay this is your redo okay redo suppose i type somewhere suppose i type uh, say jump diffusion process okay suppose i type uh, jump diffusion process and uh, i'm starting uh, working with the excel part and uh, suddenly uh, suppose i just delete it okay uh, without my uh, knowledge it get deleted okay while working in the excel sheet so suddenly i need that so what i do is that i go here and click uh, control z you can uh, have a shortcut key of control z so automatically just gets back suppose i need i don't want this and i need the action that i have uh, done previously is nothing but delete i can go to next one arrow key uh, control y okay so once again press that it will get deleted so this is the uh, basic of your uh, very basic of your excel that you have to be little bit familiar with your excel part okay can I ensure that you hover around uh, various tools and tabs for your familiarity